The location of the company headquarters in Metlach is historic. The raw materials used in manufacturing ceramics once crossed the river Zar here. But today, this site is the nerve center of a global company. Villeroy and Bach aims to fuse tradition and modernity. These are the goals of the two family members active in management. Board member Wendeline van Bach and Nicolas Luc Villeroy, who's responsible for tableware. The family used to live here. The family moved into this former Benedictine Abbey in 1809. So we lived here. This room was our dining room, and the office, which is above us, was where I was born. I was born in that room. The industrial production of pottery has been going on here for centuries. But it's the craftsman's touch, the attention to detail, which makes the difference. The company aims for the highest quality. They used to make just pottery, but now Villeroy and Bach are one of the world's leading producers of porcelain. Alchemy is very important. Basically, we're using a manufacturing method that dates back more than 2,000 years. We mix earth with water and fire, the three elements. It's a bit like baking at home. When you bake a cake, you take different ingredients and put them in the oven. You can use the same recipe, the same ingredients three or ten times, but you rarely get the same result. Our skill is achieving stability in production. Design is as important as manufacturing skill. The product has to appeal to the taste of the buyer. That means there's only little room for innovation, but that only encourages Villeroy and Bach. This cup has a design which used to be impossible to make. Normally with a cup, the handle is glued on. But this cup was made in one. That was only possible because we've developed a new method of production. This production method won us the German industry's prize for innovation. Normally that prize only goes to computer or high-tech companies. We won it with a product that is essentially more than 2,000 years old. These pottery products date back to 1790. This is tableware for ordinary citizens, but the Villeroys also work for kings. The company has both French and German roots, and the two families are not only linked by business. The archives hold more than 10,000 documents. Franz Büdinger looks after this treasure trove. He's more than 80 years old and knows every detail. He worked in the firm right up to retirement. Now the history of the company is his driving passion. Here it is. Thanks, Frau Lasch. These diaries were written in Uden Latish back in 1748. Every plate, every pot had its individual ceramic recipe. The secret mixtures are guarded as closely as the documents on the golden wedding celebrations. There are more than 200 family members. Only a few are active in the company, but all own shares. As far as business questions go, we aim at a consensus. Of course, there are arguments within the family from time to time, but they're harmless stories. The ancestors survived the French Revolution. The new generation is facing new challenges, the current financial crisis and resulting economic downturn, plus the fact that porcelain is low on the list of most people's priorities. 
Wir haben gerade festgestellt, dass auch We've just found out that one of our suppliers has filed for bankruptcy. That's another problem. How are we supposed to adjust? I think we have to consider implementing certain structural measures we had planned for the long term. That means we have to develop the automation process further. But the families know the company has only got where it is because of dedicated employees. The Villaroys and the Box often debate the proper way forward. I see the future as being based on the pillars of the past. That means we have to further develop our roots. For me, these pillars are innovation, diversification and internationalization. Villeroy and Bach is represented in 125 countries, but the headquarters will stay in Metlach, where tradition demands it remains.